Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. My name is Robert Wallace, and I'm going to be exploring Psalm 139, verses 13 through 18 with you this week. I want to encourage you to grab your Bible and pen and paper. We're going to look, be looking at other verses as well, but this is our foundation for the week. We're looking to understand this week that God does love us. God loves us is the title. Now, this is a psalm that was written by David where he points out that God has a perfect knowledge of us to mean he knows our thoughts, our actions, and our movements, both internal and external. He knows everything about us, and he loves us. We want to hang on to that this week as we go through and we dig in. You know, I was blessed to attend church with my aunt and uncle and Tracy yesterday, and the pastor brought a message on this passage, and these were my takeaways, and I think these may have been his theological points that we're going to share this week. And so I want you to jot these down so that you can be thinking about these as you read the passage with me now, and as you read the passage for yourself two or three times this week as you're able. So the theological affirmations are these. God knows us. God pursues us passionately. God made us intricately, and God has plans for us. Well, I hope you're ready. Beginning in verse 13 of Psalms 139. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious are your thoughts, God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Well, as we read this passage and we go through these theological affirmations, we also consider these questions. Do you realize that God knows every person born? Do you know that God is more passionate about you than anything you can imagine? Do you marvel at the details of your being? Do you see that God has plans for you that go well beyond anything that we can see and always we want to ask this final question which way are we choosing are we choosing the way of Jesus or are we choosing our own way well as you consider this passage and these questions I ask you to invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word concerning how God loves you this week Ask the Holy Spirit to help you to have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths. And then act on what is revealed to you with the boldness and the courage of Jesus Christ to change the things in your life that you need to change so that you may grow in God's grace. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.